Welcome back, all you crazy cool people. This is Game Edge. We're back in subsistence with a brand new update. Yes, thank you, cool games. You're awesome. You're awesomeness. Uh, yes, so this is actually a great update. He's actually added grenades, uh, also uh, potassium, which we can make our own, uh, well, our own gunpowder with. So that's really cool. Uh, so that he's actually mentioned that he's a reason why you guys are probably wondering why he didn't add primitive weapons such as bows as of yet. Uh, he is going to look like he's going to be working on those. He's mentioned it in here, which is really good news. We're all looking forward to it. Hopefully traps also. He didn't mention that, but I'm hoping that's one part of it. Uh, okay, so primitive weapons as bows. He's also, um, the reason why is because he's actually cr now creating a foundation for hunters posing a threat to uh, players' bases. So this is a part of it. Uh, this is going to be a big part of it. We actually have grenades and stuff that we can use now, which is really cool. Uh, it also gives greater satisfaction to breaking into hunters' bases to steal their gear rather than just simply axing through the door. Uh, they've also progressed in isolation and causing random crash issues, which have been bothering, you know, a lot of players, which is really good. So if you haven't played this in a while, you might want to jump back in and see if it works. Uh, Amelia plans moving forward to start building upon hunters' behaviors and creating a more believable balancing purpose to their presence. I know that there are many of you issues and attentions and trying. I want to thank all of you for all your, fe all your feedback and helping out. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, again, helping out cold games with log files and a lot, and no, understanding what an early axis game is, you guys are just absolutely, absolutely awesome. He's also made axe, uh, axe and pickaxes now do very little damage to, to damage uh, buildables. So in other words, can't really break into their base anymore. It's going to be a little bit harder to break in. If you want to do it, it'll take a little bit longer. Fix bugs and preventing weapons to upgrade reach level four. Rotten meat will now burn, uh, now burns. Fix bugs where power mass was something, uh, sorry, power mass was something times not charged for items upgrades uh, fixed bugs where weapons bench was drawing a small amount of power while idle remove exploits where uh, this uh, dissembling wood ceilings quarter was returning resources to full ceilings uh, next another exploit people were using I guess hit points the foundations has been increased hit points the doors decreased uh, the hunters base loot increased uh, and dynamically updates based on hunter's presence. A heavily hunted hunter presence working a base will yield more loot. All right. Well, we have those, man. We that means a lot more hunters in a base. We get more shit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, great. That's it. Uh, grenades and gunpowder can now be crafted in a weapons bench, and uh, grenades can be used uh, for bursting through doors in hunter's base, or for killing, which is really nice. Uh, potassium ore uh, is now can be harvested the same thing as we can do with the regular ores and stuff so I'm actually doing that right here I'm actually going through the process of it right now I'm actually putting it through and we have potassium going through we need five potassium to get that going uh, after I'm gonna switch it back over because I'm gonna want to do a little bit more work I have the generator going uh, because I want to get stuff going you know, I want to get stuff going here uh, we're gonna need to switch this out we'll take the five potassium we're gonna need uh, we also need make gunpowder we're also gonna need some of that some ash and the ash you get it from the fireplace in case you guys want to know that's where you get it from all right so you go to your weapons bench i did craft every one grenade i was testing it out i want to make sure i can actually get you know get this going and also practice i also went out to get some potassium as you can see so i went out for a day harvesting stuff so this is it so it's gonna make your own gunpowder which is really nice the return on it hopefully is really cool i've not done this yet so i was just testing it out i want to see how much gunpowder we end up getting from this and bam how much we get 10. So for 5, we get 10. That's not horrible with ash and stuff. It's not horrible. Not horrible. Um, uh, as you can see, there's also a little glitch that occurred with my stuff. I ended up, the video you were going to probably miss is that I ended up using a lot of weapons for the last two games. And somehow I dropped my shotgun. So I made my shotgun again. And unfortunately, I lost some ammo. Make long story short. I'm not sure how that happened. I looked like I was walking with it. I dropped it. I don't know how I dropped it because usually you have to fling it out. But somehow I must have done it, or the glitch. And then power failure occurred at around that same time. So therefore, I kind of had a little bit of an issue uh, with the game, unfortunately, due to me. Uh, most likely me. So we're going to have to deal with what we have today. And uh, we'll do our best to actually go through the Hunter's base and get them dead. 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 Uh, we're going to leave something behind. We have one grenade here. And then we're actually going to craft the other grenade over here. Uh, what do I need for a grenade again? Uh, need... Did I put that in here? Hello. Hello, Moto. All right, let's get this grenade. And I need gunpowder, of course. Moron, what else? How do you think it's going to explode? All right. 
So we'll do two more grenades. Now, if you do a third grenade or a fourth grenade, it'll actually go into the upgrade weapon area. Uh, so just be careful. I know that because I lost the other grenades with that power failure. So there's a lot of things that occurred. Thankfully, it was in the upgrade area where I lost it. Uh, the power failure happened this morning, and I kind of lost everything. Anyways, I don't know what happened. I lost everything while doing the loot run. Uh, it's a fun times. Fun times, I tell you. It's okay. It's uh, most likely my end more than anybody else's end here, so it's all good. So now they're compiling on two. two. Wow, that's pretty good. I didn't have that before. They went one, two, three. All right. I don't know what happened. So be it. All right. So we have no more gunpowder there. We have to be careful. The gunpowder, obviously, now is going a little lower. So we have three grenades. We can actually put those over here. I have not thrown one yet. So this will be our first time together. Um, better make sure our garden's okay. I am burning a lot of wood. I'm burning upstairs, too because I want to make sure that we have enough going. Let's make sure the pets here are doing okay. Yeah, they're doing... Uh, oops. We'll harvest this for now. And uh, we'll dump. We'll split. Let's see how much this gives us back. Ooh, that's nice and full. I might have been wasted a little bit. I should have done probably one by one, but I'm kind of in a hurry right now. I want to go and do some stuff, and uh, I want to get out and play. So, yeah, you guys can understand that. Right, let's see one, bring up our thirst meter too. be kind of cool. We are not going to run around with this, obviously. I'm also thinking that we're going to go and attack the other base down below, which is the left-hand side, uh, because it seemed like an easier target for me to go after right now. We're going to turn off the generator. We're not going to let this run for no reason. Uh, again, valuable, valuable, valuable resources, right? And we're going to take this here. And take this here. So I have two fireplaces going at once. So wood is very important. I guess we could make some with cordage, uh, with the fiber, sorry, that, you know, those little bricks, fiber bricks, I guess you could say. Like we did last time, but yeah. We want the ash. We're going to need it. Ash became very important now. I mean, it was important before, but now it's like super important and we're actually using it. So this is actually really cool. This is really, really cool stuff. So, okay, so we're going to let this roll. Uh, we're going to let this go down as far as we possibly can. I probably should upgrade. I wonder if I can upgrade my gun. How much, before we head out and hit the explosive trail of fun, how much is that going to take? 70 and 650. It would be good if we could upgrade that. 70 and 650. I'm going to let that go by itself. Yeah, we're going to let that go by itself. We're going to need more copper for more grenades and stuff. We're going to let that roll. Uh, actually, we have enough for that. Shouldn't use too much power if we don't need to, but we're just going to go around and shoot the shit out of these guys. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we're going to we're gonna do well. I mean, uh, we've got our armor and everything else. And that's the other thing I actually lost. <laughs> I lost my pants and my boots and my jacket on a... On my, I swear to God, it's like everything gone at once. It kind of frizzled, I guess, the game uh, or the save itself, and it kind of tainted it. But somehow I was able to play it, so it's great. I had no nulls or anything else occurred, so we're really, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, we're going to go shoot them from up top. I think that's the best way to do it. I really want to use a grenade, too, and see how that reacts on their asses. Doesn't look like very many loot crates are in this area. Bam. Now, they're right down here below, uh, below this area. Let's see what, how we feel like when we can shoot them from here. Let's see if we can find. Now, the potassium is a lot. I don't have my pickaxe because I didn't want to risk it in case I lose everything. I don't feel like building more stuff. I don't need to. I hope you guys understand it. I hope to God he also adds something armor for the head. So, this is iron. Okay. Potassium is like this, exactly like this, but super white. So, if you see it, you'll, you'll understand it. Hopefully, we'll catch one. It took a while for me to find some, so yeah. Okay, so we have hunters below us. They're right below us, they hear us. They're right there. What the hell is he hitting? Come on. He was so down. I left my gun. I left my handgun. I can't believe that. How many of you just went, you left your handgun there, brother? 
I'm gonna need it because I don't have enough ammo. Hope the guy he stays injured. Hope he doesn't heal up that fast. But I really need to get the handgun. Or else we're in deep shit. Oh, so many things in my brain about this update to do. That's the reason why I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, hello. Thank you. Can I have this back? Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, this is still going, right? Take a while to get that to 20. Shit. Alright. I got enough bandages. Yes. I have enough med kits. Yes. I'm going to use cover from the top. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to use a cover from the top. These guys do that to us all the time around the corners. The headshots are just... It totally kind of balances it out a little more for us. I'm going to use advantage of the top area here to shoot them. Oh, shit. There's a gap here, isn't there? Oh, that's a gap to go down there. Ooh. Yes, sir. All right. All right. We don't need anything. Yeah, shut up. Shut up, Wolf. I'm busy here. Wow, there's three of them. Oh, shit. Shots fired, shots fired. Is he down? I don't think he's down. Where the hell is he? Shit. I don't see him there. You know what? Oh, I'd love to see explosion, but I don't know where it went. They should have died on that. Okay, they're shooting me through freaking rocks now. Is he coming around? I don't know where he is. Where do you go? I feel like hopping on a freaking roof. I didn't even break my legs. We've got two crates there. Is he jammed in somewhere? Where'd you go, you little shit? Oh, he sees me. Oh, shit, wolf. Oh, man. Wow, what a shot. Wow, where is he? Come on, you little shit. Poke your friggin' head out. Only got one grenade left. I need it for the door. It's 
Beyond that freaking tree, isn't he? Oh, he's down. Watch out for the wolves and stuff. Go down this way. Okay, some shotgun rounds. Good. Just a fucking bear there, really? Might go back for my shotgun. Take down a three bear. Oh, come on. The friggin' grenade just bounces off. That's just full of shit. Um, like how much longer does it take? I don't care at this point. I don't care if I have to pause this video for this, but damn, that's a lot of animals next to me. Can't believe the friggin' explosion didn't do shit to it. Come on. Okay, we're gonna go back and get the shotgun. You're gonna blow that fucking door off. Grenade just like lobs and tosses off on it. It's great to have a grenade, but you gotta be able to not have stairs there for at least a grenade to land and not roll down. I mean, it doesn't really blow up on impact, does it? That is not a cool thing. I want that freaking loot badly, so. Um, I'm going to take and put that over here in case. Take you, bring over here. I have five there. There we go. We'll place this up afterwards. Screw this. Uh... Can I craft another grenade, if possible? I can. If I have the resources. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Craft. Let's craft two. Why is it telling me I have enough mass? That's odd, isn't it? That's something that he's got to fix for sure. And won't let me craft the other one. Okay. Okay, cool. So it's just a mistake. Cool. So we have one, one grenade. One grenade is one grenade. Let's go back and kill this guy. So while we kill them, let's go back and open up their, their shit here. Got meat going. All right. I know I probably should drop off other things, but current time, I'm just such in a hurry to get this. Well, I'll use two bandages. And we got another grenade. Which didn't seem to, I don't know, maybe it did some, it does about a I don't know, 100 point damage, I guess, or I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage to me. I didn't see uh, any damage that, you know, the grenade right next to the guys and they didn't seem to really react. That'd be probably something he has to work on. Again, this is early access. Don't forget, it's brand new, this grenade. So I'm expecting it to be uh, fixed up anyway, sooner or later. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Let's see if we can just throw it up here. Yeah, is that better? That's bullshit. That's how you freaking do it. We'll look at our loot afterwards if that's worth it or not. What's wrong? Gonna come and destroy this base? Huh? Why don't you come over here and destroy this fucking base? Huh, you little shit? Is it so funny now? Huh? Anybody want some? Hmm, I'm real tough now that I'm up here. 
Uh, it doesn't look like they have very much else in this place. We'd love to find some biofuel and stuff. What do we get anyways? Some steak and that, some shotgun. Get some copper. Got a couple of things. I don't know if it's uh, worthwhile all of the stuff I just put out, but... You should find a lockpick in there. That's what you should do. Fucking serious right now. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't usually do this exploit shit, but... I'm not in the mood of, uh... Just get the hell away. He'll run. It's an exploit. Take your ashes, though. <laughs> Hope you come back with matches, ass wipes. <sighs> well, we did it. Uh, it wasn't clean. It wasn't beautiful. But it was, uh... It was a shitload of grenades. <laughs> and the grenades just roll off the door. Maybe I gotta throw them better. I don't know. Maybe throw them in front of him. Let them roll up through the door. I don't know. That seemed pretty funny. And anyway, it's something he'll have to work on for sure. Or make some stickies. I have no idea. Or C4. Probably better than grenades. Probably C4. If we can make that, it'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be more fun to actually have a C4 for the actual... Uh, for them actually to, to actually attack them would be a lot better for me. I think that just makes more sense. Okay, we're going to eat you. Thank you for your eggs, brothers and sisters. Or mostly, mostly sisters since they're laying eggs, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Not horrible. Not great. Not anything to call or write home for, but I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. Uh, this looks like the laser is still going on here, which is really nice. We are going to need probably a lot more iron, so we're going to drop that and switch this over. Over here, but let's look at our loot we got. We should probably go for a little more loot run if we can before the end of the day. Probably be a great idea. We did get their ashes. Well, now the ash is well worthwhile. It's actually a prize you have to pick up. Uh, we better cook these steaks before they go bad. Uh, we got more wood. There we go. Ash again. Ash is your friend! And, yeah, we're going to place this over here. I'll place that over here. Again, always micromanaging, always fixing up your stuff. I know it sounds crazy. People tell me, you know, you overdo it. Well, it's a part of the game. I don't know what to say to you. It's If there was, like, if it's, like, there was an easier way of doing it, I would do it. But if you guys want me to just jump around and go out, then I'm going to have to watch out. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to watch out with the, the amount we're going to have to do here. We have, uh, we have lots to do. What else do we want to do while we're cooking? Might as well start doing that. All right, we're going to keep some of the bricks here. We've got enough of cordage made. So there we go. That's going to go there. And there's some more iron ore. Okay, that's cool. Let's make sure it goes in that pile. There we go. Now we got some pretty good stuff. I'm not going to say it's bad. We actually got some decent, decent loot. Uh, not the greatest. I think it could be a lot more on that if we're going to take a risk and waste that much energy to get it. I think that would be the most important thing for us to do is actually get the, the right amount uh, of stuff. A little more. Just a little more. I'm not greedy. I know I'm probably greedy. But uh, what do you want to say? I think you guys are probably in the same boat. All right. Those are cooked. Let's eat those babies up. Refuel, and there we go. We can actually put this back out down here on the bottom, and same thing for here. Let's go and see if we can go out for at least one last little bit of a loot run before the end of the episode. We're going to keep the other stick in our inventory, and hopefully we'll have enough to go out and about. Yeah, we're going to leave also the uh, refinery on. It's going to bring down whatever you need. We're going to need... Oh, there's some crates there. Be nice to find some SVT rounds, but now these guys are definitely a lot easier to kill than those ones over there. Vantage points a lot better. Definitely still got hit, so somewhat fair. But as Cold Games gets through it, I should have brought my pickaxe. Would love to find a uh, actual ore, but anyways, it's getting really dark. Anyways, I don't think we'd be doing very much mining. Again, it's a little bit whiter in this, so I know this is actually iron. You'll get more out of it, too, if you get your pickaxe. That is life sometimes. We kind of waste our time going back. Or we take a risk and go around here. 
I think we take a risk. And get a little more loot. And stay away from big-ass bears that want to eat us. Now here we have to be a little careful. We're really close to another base. He's around here somewhere. I could hear him walking around. Yeah, they're around here. All right, I'm getting the shit out of here. I'm no, I'm no position right now to fight them. Just gonna walk through here, or run through here, should I say, and try and loop myself back around. Since the uh, wolf is an aggro, I'm not gonna be uh, worried about him at all. I'm just gonna grab that last piece of fiber I can see here, which then led me to a nice. I thought I heard some footsteps. I was like, oh damn. Yes, it's getting dark. But there's three loot crates here. We should be able to make it back with any problems. Shotgun, yes. Take, take, I say. So I cook meat's gonna last us a little bit longer than you'd think, so it's gonna be pretty good. Forget that rabbit just scared the shit out of me. Is he stuck somewhere? Yeah, he's he's stuck. Look, he's stuck inside the tree. Well, you're now my pet. You're gonna go back and finally got yourself a rabbit without having to shoot one. Jammed himself into a tree to be with us. That's what he did. He's like, take me home. I can't find food out here. Yeah, it's the worst childlike bunny voice ever I know, probably. But it's hard to do when you have a deeper voice. <laughs> Shit. That's iron. Anyways, potassium is a little bit whiter, so it is what it is. We'll find some during the gameplay for sure. You'll see it. It's super white compared to the rest. You'll know the difference when you see it. Okay, one more crate. There we go. Excellent. Could use a little bit of fruits. There's level three wolf right there to our left. We're going to avoid that. And we get a little more cordage. There you go. Fiber. And I just chopped down a little bit of this tree. Again, because we have to keep our fire going. We do have a little bit in stock. I'm going to probably do a little more tomorrow morning. Uh, as the night goes, I'll probably go around and do a couple now that the other, well, the other hunters are gone. It gives me a little more leeway to go down the hill. They do take up a lot more space than they used to, I find. But, yeah. Did I drop one anywhere else or did I just grab them all? I don't know. Man, that blue light does shit nothing. You can see in front of you, but beyond that, screw you. All right, let's... I don't usually even put the chickens back inside anymore. I let them free roam, free range all the time now. Uh, it seems to be a lot better. There we go, little rabbit. But just to get used to it, we'll put them all back in home. They all come back into the house. They'll give them a chance to kind of chill, relax. Put a little more fruit inside there. And that's excellent. Oh, wow. That door, I swear to God. Let's turn this on. Let's get the fire going. So we're going to leave the episode here. So thank you so much for being here. You guys are absolutely awesome. If you like this and you're happy about the update, again, realizing that Cold Games just mentioned that he's going to be coming up with uh, lower tier weapons. Which I think most of us will say yes, yes, yes. Uh, definitely needed. Again, it, I want lower tier weapons, but I want the hunters to have the same. So I want the hunters to have to struggle for a long period of time before they start getting guns and stuff. I don't want it to be too quick. Uh, again, these are all things that would need to be modified and he'll have to take care of, and I'm sure he will. And it, the game will adjust itself, so it'll be something we'll have to work on. But again, it will evolve into a great game. It's already a great game, it's gonna evolve even better. So. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are absolutely, absolutely awesome. Again, if you like this, don't forget the like button. It's always appreciated. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.